At this point in my motion graphic YouTube career, I'm all about showing how to create unique stuff. So if you're looking to make your project stand out and looking for some solid ideas, let's go through a handful of conceptual motion graphics that you can apply to any of your After Effects projects. Let's get started. Okay, the first graphic we'll create is this 3D cube, and it's actually very simple to produce. The first thing you must do is create a 500 by 500 composition. And inside of this project, just create a background and type out any text or whatever that you want. This will just be one of the sides of the cube. Then go back into your main composition and make this cube side a 3D layer. To build the cube, we just need to follow some simple math. Let's duplicate the layer and set the X rotation to 90 degrees. Then set the Y anchor point to 500 and the Z anchor point to 250. This will perfectly snap the bottom in place. Essentially, we just need to move every piece of the cube by increments of 250 or 500. So if you duplicate the bottom, we can set the Z anchor point to negative 250. This will place the layer at the top of the cube. Moving forward, I'll select the original layer, which is our back layer, and duplicate it. We'll set the Y rotation to 90 degrees and the X anchor point to zero, and set the Z anchor point to 250. We'll now duplicate this left side and set the Z anchor point to negative 250. Lastly, duplicate the back once more and set the Z anchor point to 500. Now we have a cube. To rotate the cube, create a null object and set that null object to a 3D layer. Before you parent anything, set the Z position to negative 250. Then, now we can parent all the sides to the null object. The best part is you can animate any of the rotation values of the null to animate the cube. So I'll all click the stopwatch and apply the time asterisk 50 expression. And there you have it, a rotating cube. I also added the invert effect to some of the sides to change the color. So you can use this cube graphic in any way that you want, but I'll quickly show you how to create this array of fallen cubes, and you can always use this technique for any object. So pre-compose everything that you have, feel free to scale down your cube, but move it to the top of your composition like this. Now apply the transform effect from distort. Then keyframe the position to animate below your composition. Lastly, add the loop out open close parenthesis expression to the position. And the reason why we animated the position with an effect like transform, instead of just using the basic transform properties, is now because we can quickly duplicate the layer and move it somewhere else in your project without having to mess with keyframes. So continue to duplicate and move the cube layer several times. Then just offset the layers in your timeline to vary the timing. And look at that, a really cool field of falling blocks. Since we're on the topic of creating seamless looping animations, let's expand on this with seamless outline titles, which can look really cool from a design perspective. All you need to do is type out a title and make it extremely large, or not, I mean, it's really up to you. But for style points, make it a stroke title. Placement is completely up to you, but I'll just place this title at the top here. Now, I'll all click the stopwatch for position on the title layer and type open bracket time asterisk negative 200 comma value open bracket one close bracket close bracket just pause and copy the expression this will animate the x value of the position forever then we can just add the cc repeat tile effect from the style lies menu then increase expand right and this will repeat your title and if you want you can now duplicate the title move it to the bottom and remove the negative symbol from the value expression, and then just increase the expand left. This will create you a seamless title that animates in both directions. Pretty cool. Before we jump into our last conceptual graphic, instead of creating everything from scratch, check out our visual elements pack here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. With these visual templates, you can add them into your projects and create really cool work right away. You can easily change the template parameters and stack multiple templates to create a unique piece of work. Be sure to get our free pack of templates and everything that we have with the links below. Okay, the last conceptual technique I wanna share are these unique shape lines that will add extra detail to your project. It's just good to have more tools in your arsenal of tricks. For this, it's so easy to create. Just draw out any shape with your shape tools. Be sure to turn off the fill and set the stroke to solid color. From here, open the shape layer and add trim paths. Set the end to 85% and then add the time asterisk 50 expression to the offset value. Now you can duplicate the shape, increase the size or decrease it, while also changing the rotation. Do this twice and you'll have a unique object. 
and feel free to pre-compose all your layers and then duplicate your unique object. And you can also use the trim pass for larger outline objects as well, like I've done with these circles here. So now with all the ideas in this video, produce something awesome and always be creating.